I think I did look around here though, I think. Did I? No, maybe I didn't. I might not have. Shoot you. Sorry, Darden. I can't take a bearer's call. Ah, you're a prostitute. Even if you are one of Martha's. You never know when one of the lads from the garrison might come knocking. And if they did, neither of us would get a happy ending. Eh, it's okay, darling. Clive ain't interested. Goblin coin. You ain't pulled that sword from its scabbard in days. Come on, come inside. I'll be happy to show you how well I wield my blade after my shift's over. Hmm. Interesting. Come and have a look. Don't be shy. That's a nice blade you got there, Brandon. And a nice purge. Yeah, okay, so as long as I have that, the people here are going to be a lot nicer. Maybe they're putting on a bit of a show. I'm not too sure. Or maybe some of them are. Maybe not all of them are. What are you? What do you have to say, children? Nothing. Are your mom's pregnant? Yeah, you don't normally see many pregnant bodies in video games like that. Like, just of an NPC. Huh. Ah, the slumbering chocobo. Welcome to the Brotherhood. You're free to come and go as you please. Even to the north. Now the bridge is fixed. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Don't you worry about them boards. I use good solid lumber. It's the base on the other side you want to be careful of. Thanks, Bernard. Martha said the blight had spread even further south, pushing yet more monsters down with it. I dare say we'll be seeing a few along the way. Now, for sure. To keep our wits about us. Stay down. Stay down. May as well do it, right? We can look cool. Probably could have get a killer or two. I can pull him in. Oh, that's actually a cool combo. That's a cool way to combo. You can go into the into the storm and pull them in. That's cool. I like it. Uh, yeah, we'll have a look around here. Why not? How do you add a man choice? This will do, this will do. You won't go too hard on this one. Still a good stagger damage regardless. Alright, looking good. Still looking good. So we're getting some really good combos then now. I thought it was gonna hit me for a moment. Ah, oh, damn! Thought I dodged it. Never mind. My wounds, boy. Uh, 
We got the, these guys here now too. Okay. Now perish. Mm -hmm. Oh, I gotta find those birds. That's right. I gotta find them so I can kill them. Maybe add them to my index. Next, look out of curiosity, what is this way? It looks like it's kind of cut off from I don't know, is it no way? Which way am I which way am I talking about? This one? This one. Yeah, huh. Okay, I accidentally almost used the potion there. If I didn't, if I had one, that is, it would have been used. All right, so not much here. Continue just exploring then. Couple nice huts. Um. Yeah, let's go this way. A killer bee. Oh, you're a big killer bee. Mistakes. Okay, that was a cool combo. I gotta give myself that. That was pretty cool. Okay, that was us comboing together. Can we make a good team, this AI partner and me? Do do giant spiders and plants and all of, and also the crabs and then we have some crazy bus. The music is so good, dude. I don't know. Everything. I don't know. I, I've said this before. I've said it again. It's been a while since I've said it, mind you. But I still think the game is pretty top quality. Shells. Okay, see, I don't really want to kill the Kelpie. Been down this way? I have been, but like, I've been. Well, never mind. They wish to fight, we shall fight. In fact, perish. Farewell. This is what they get. I guess we can just go this way then. Fight the spider ears. Yeah, I feel like she took my kill. Like, actually.
Okay, that was the full magic verse combo. Okay, so you gotta do it when it hits. So it's like a when it strikes. Okay, okay, I think I got it. I think I got it. Hey, Kari, welcome back to the stream. How are you doing today, friendo? Hopefully things are going well. I will indeed. Uh, just my posture. Oh, you know what? I really needed that. Oh, I did need that actually. How are you doing today, friendo? Bandits. Hold up. Yeah, just doing some Final Fantasy today, having a good time. It's over. Now give me one sec while I just deal with uh, some banditos here. Banditos dealt with. Nice. I curse this had a rough night, but okay and alive. Oh, I'm sorry to hear you had a rough night. May I ask what may have happened? How about your good self? I'm doing good, thank you. Had a very busy like couple of days. Really tired the other day. I had to go out and um, do some stuff. Um, just like some banking, you know, just like some bank related stuff. It's always fun, right? Um, and then I had to go out and I'm gonna have to do some government stuff because of IDs and you sort some IDs out, you know, just, just kind of the annoying stuff to be honest. Um, but I mean, it's been all right. And today I had to go out and uh, just kind of do some stuff as well. Is that a dragon or a wyvern? Hmm. Well, I am quite intrigued. Okay, let's go ahead and start up the side quest then. And then we'll go and we'll deal with that, uh, that Drake. Colonel with. It's the same as the one back at the hideaway. But yes, we are kicking booty indeed. Doesn't seem to be working though. Hmm. Strange. Let's see, Curry says, had to bail out of work early to take the dog to the emergency vet. Oh, I'm sorry. Turns out she's got a calcium deficiency due to her body putting too much in her breast milk for the puppies. Preclamgia, I think it's called. Interesting. Try to get to knife too, but no cover. I'm sorry, dude. No, that really sucks. At least it sounds like it, it's treatable, right? Because I assume you got to just give her like some more calcium stuff, and then she'll probably be good. So at least it's treatable, but still, that's that's that'd be hard still. Um, but yeah, I could say it being really difficult. But hopefully she's doing better. Hopefully. Excuse me. I'll use that blade of yours. Oh, curse my luck. I branded. No time to haggle with whoever holds your leash. Wait. That's the slumbering chocobo you're wearing. You want a Marfrys, are you? Yeah, he is. Good. She won't because we need to you then. Not while there's wolves about. We tried dealing with them ourselves. Laid out bait. Think we might swoop in and slaughter a lot. How that work? We didn't expect the pack to be quite so bloody big. I expect the blight drove them here. They must have fled their homes for greener pastures. Well, we'd hoped empty bellies might make them easy prey. We'd made them mean instead. Ah, well, yeah, that'll Arthur's happen. no fool. So she must see something in you. Do us a favor and get rid of them, will you? Yeah, I can do that. All right. I suppose those wolves pose a threat to everyone. Hey, that's what I'm talking about. I'd wager the greedy bastards are still over yonder, finishing off our bait. When you've seen to every last one of them, go and speak to my friend over the bridge. Bryce, his name is. He want to know if he's safe to come across. All right, off you go then. Seems like an interesting guy. Nah, but first, though, let's go deal with the uh, pack of wolves. Let's see. Uh, b -b -b let's see. Curry says the GF is terrified if it happens again. She woke up to her howling and banging her head on the cage. Ooh. That does sound... That sounds a whole lot rougher than what you'd think it would, right? Howling and banging her head on the cage. Man, that'd be scary, dude. If that were me, I'd be like, holy crap. 
Yeah. I, I, yeah, no, I'd be, I'd be like, oh shit. Big cage keeps her and the puppy safe from daddy doggo. But yeah, coming in to seeing that must have been scary. Well, for sure. I don't even know how I'd react to that. That'd be really scary. Uh, but she was admitted to pet hospital for four hours. IV drip, active cooling too. And she's hypothermic. Man, that sounds so rough. She's back home and doing well, but the GF has her worries, which is very fair. It is very fair. Yeah, no, I don't I don't blame her at all. Like I said, I don't even know what I'd do in that situation. It it, it would certainly immediately be like, okay, no, nah, gotta gotta go take her to the vet or something, right? She's walking on with strength like panting and collapse, so that's when I drove home. My car had wings, it would have literally flown. You and, you and your GF seem like really good people. I just want to point that out there. Anyone that's uh, willing to take time off for their doggo and uh, everything, uh, certainly certainly good people, right? Because, yeah, no, that's, that's absolute craziness, my dude. Phone work supervisor said I'm leaving site. He said he's on the way. Site can't be left unattended, but I was like, yeah, no. Yeah, no, like I said, dude, I, I fully, fully empathize with that. Like, fully. As someone that's, uh, had dogs and has loved many dogs for all my years, literally all my years, um, I certainly, certainly can understand how, how terrifying that would be. I'm just glad everything seems better now. There you go, it's in my health back. Oh God. Call forth the wind. Okay, I, I didn't I didn't get the stagger. That's fine. I was gonna say it's gonna happen soon enough. Yeah, we're doing decent damage. I mean, decent damage is still being done to me, but I don't have the pattern down yet. Oh, good, good, nice. I oh, can just keep the combo going. Okay, that's interesting. That never even occurred to me as a possibility. Okay, we took a lot of damage, but it's probably worth it, right? Actually, it might be. It might be worth it. Let me see here. Uh, be gear. Scarlet Cyclone. Which one is that again? Is that is that the one that I don't have on anymore? Hold up. Uh. Yeah, I don't have that one on anymore because this was... That's Wicked Wheel. Which one's Scarlet Cyclone? Oh, is that the other one? Yeah, I don't need that one anymore then. Yeah, I don't need it. Uh, may as well have done... Any of these other ones? Increase aerial combo damage. I mean, I don't really need it, mind you, but like, I may as well put it on, I guess. Although the Cleric's Medallion... Cleric's Medallion would probably be better. Batch of Metal... Batch of might. Um, Bloodhawk Jess. I mean, see, like, it's a good one. I'm not really doing much aerial combo, though. It's still better than having Scarlet with Cyclone damage on, but is it better than having healing potion potency? Um, oh, not that one. Yeah, I'll do that one. 
Let's see. She's really nervous about sick dogs. This her chihuahua had an enlarged heart that we didn't know about. Woke up to him one day breathing wet like water on his lungs. Took him to the vet and we never got to say goodbye. That's when they did the scan. Found her his heart. Really tragic. Yeah. That's really tragic stuff. It's always hard losing a pet. No matter what, it's always hard losing a pet. He's being cared for, but took a turn for the worse, and they put him under anesthetic, which he never came out around from. Miss a little guy, yeah. Yeah, no, it's always hard losing a pet. I've, I've lost... See, every time I say I've lost many, I don't want people to assume, like, oh, I'm just bad at taking care of pets. Literally, all the pets we've had, apart from, like... One of them, potentially two, because I don't remember quite how old CC was. I don't quite remember. I know she's she was getting up there in age when uh, she passed away. Uh, but I'll I'll live to like near full lifespans. And the only other one that didn't got tragically hit by a car um, when I was younger. But besides that, all my pets have lived to. Uh, only non-pet people say that. Yeah, exactly, right? Like, I don't know, I don't... That's kind of why I like to just emphasize, right? Where it's like, it's a, oh, I have, I've had many pets, right? I've had many pets pass away on me. It's, you know, you say that, and you, I, I assume some people at least would probably hear that and go, oh, oh, they've had many pets die. That means they're bad. It's like, well, I've, I've had, like, because I've had typically at least, like, two to three dogs, um, at a time. And, like, occasionally I've also had, like, a bird or a fish. I will count my fish. Uh, in there. And my frog. The one little frog that I had. Um. And they've all lived to be, like, really, really old. They've all lived, like, really long lives. It's just that, you know. They do pass. Some quicker than others. Uh, if you know, you know, right? Exactly. Uh, if all it's all part and parcel of being a pet owner, even with, at their best, we outlive most pets. Yeah, that's that's like the one thing that's really kind of hard to be honest. Like honestly, being a pet owner is suffering to a degree because like it's great you have so many good times with your pets. Like I absolutely love my pets to death. Right, but and and my little, especially my little Roly, who I currently. Like, I have uh, Roly and his brother, but Roly is more more my pet. And, like, you know, I know he's going to be around for a lot longer, but I dread the day when, like, he passes. I'm That's going to absolutely tear me up when he passes. You know? Like, it's going to be a long time, but damn, that, that is going to, that is going to absolutely destroy me. Hmm. <laughs> Uh, except turtles for some reason. <laughs> Fuck turtles. I want to know their secret. Tell me your secret, young yon turtle. See, they need to give out their secret to life, right? Secret to everlasting life. Oh, I guess actually, I guess technically I have had like another pet um, tragically pass uh, before the end of their time. They were still pretty old though. And that was due to my neighbor harboring... Like, this was when I was really young. So it was, like, um... Something I didn't even really know. But, like, I guess my neighbor, uh, when I was a kid, was uh, harboring a coyote in their yard for some reason. I don't remember what they said their reason was. And it, like, jumped the fence and, like... Uh... Killed one of my older dogs? At the time? It's still really sad and really tragic, don't get me wrong, and that was when the friendship between my family and the neighbor's family ended. Um, because we actually used to be pretty close until that happened. And then that happened, and it was like, yeah, never again. Never again. We could probably slimes rebirth these guys. Oh, I didn't actually end you. Okay, I thought it would. It's 
Brace is up yonder that way. Oh yeah, those jellyfish. Yeah, I've heard about them. Yeah, cause yeah, cause it's like yeah, it just reverses the aging process, right? Like yeah, it's really weird. Like it's literally an immortal an immortal jellyfish, which is really fascinating. Oh, it's a minotaur. Hey bud. Man, nature is both scary and also like incredibly cool. You know. Easiest stagger of my life. I don't know if button mashing even really does anything there. I just think it does. Okay, I didn't mean to do that. I actually meant to use a uh, Torgo there. I thought he was gonna do it again. Oh my god, I'm I'm like I'm like blowing it super hard here. There we go. See, there we go. There we go. And we'll get at least a little health back out of this. Yeah, it didn't end him. There you go. We gotta do the ability finish. Okay, I'm looking cool. I'm starting to look cool again. I'm starting to look pretty cool. Uh, it'd be phenomenal to see an AOP doggo do that. In reverse age all the way to being a puppy. And that'd be great, dude. I would love that. I would love that. Like, I don't know. It, it really, yeah, dude. Like, if I could keep my pets around forever, I totally would. Not even kidding. Cause yeah, you know, and, and I, I probably said this before on stream, but like, you know, one of the things that, that people sometimes ask me and sometimes I don't really know how to properly answer because I, I don't think of this as like being one of them, uh, being one of the answers one would normally give. So I don't really think about it is like oh what do you fear the most right like in life and normally to be fair like normally i say something that is true and that is like someone i know or care about like disappearing and never knowing like whatever actually happened to them but another one which i think is pretty valid is uh losing my memory and part of that is due to like forgetting not only the people i've met but like the pets i've had like i can't imagine forgetting about any of that you know Oh, come on, I dodged that. Okay, I've gotten really good at that. There we go, just nailed it. Oh, 
No, I don't need to go too crazy yet. But some of the power builds back up. I mean, 5,000 is still acceptable in terms of damage. Ah, oh, damn. Are we gonna take him down? This time. Yeah, we're doing it, we're doing it, we're doing it, we're doing it. Alright, here tell you what. We'll hit him with this. Followed by a little bit of this. Into a little bit of this. Followed by a little bit of this, and then we can end with a little bit of that. That should be a lot of damage. Yeah, that was a lot of damage. Sick. See, now that's how you end a fight. Now that was pretty cool. That was pretty cool. I'll take it. I'll take it. Uh, okay, so let me let me read more. Thanks, man. I feel loads better. Of course, my dude. Like, especially when it comes to pets, you can always talk to me about that. Cause I I know I know the struggle, I know the fears, and I know I know the pain, I promise. I, I've been there numerous times. Many, many times. <sighs> Like, even now, I, I literally cannot imagine my life without a pet of some sort. Because I've, I've had them my whole life. Like, literally, my whole life, I've had a pet. Just because my family's always been, like, very big pet people. And, oh boy, let me tell you, if my... Like, I've gone on record numerous times saying my dad wasn't, like, the greatest of people. But, like, both my dad and my mom, if they were to ever see anyone, like, abuse an animal of some sort, holy shit, that person would probably be absolutely demolished if, if it was witnessed in real life. Uh, let's see. Last Final Fantasy I played was 10. A long time ago. 10 is a good one, though. 10 is probably one of my favorites. Like, I really can't wait to play 10 on, uh, on recording or on stream at some point in the future. Because, man, I love 10. I love Final Fantasy 10. Such a good game. And I feel like at the time it came out, it was relatively underrated by some people. I mean, I know it got a sequel, but relatively underrated by some people. Um, but nowadays, I feel like that's different. I feel like it's generally considered up there with seven, I think. Which is good. And you know, I've heard rumors of a potential Final Fantasy X-3, which would be really interesting. Don't know if it'd be like good, but I'd be interested. You do the same? Good. Good. Me too, honestly. Uh, seven for me. Eight had the gun, the gun, gun blade and cards. Yeah, it had like, see, I haven't finished eight. I haven't finished eight. It's funny because I know, I know like the entirety of eight story, essentially, uh, through watching a reviewer a long time ago known as the Spoony one play through it. So, I know the story to 8, but I've never actually finished 8. I did play 8. I couldn't tell you how far I got, though. I don't quite remember. Uh, I did... Uh, and 7, I think, was, like, my first Final Fantasy. Man, it's so good. I love 7. 7 is so, so solid. You 
you know, I haven't played like many Final Fantasies yet, right? But like the ones I have played, I think have been like pretty good, right? Because if you want to count eight, like I haven't finished it, but I, I'll count eight in this. Like I played seven, eight, ten, uh, fourteen, and sixteen, right? So it, really, I've played the ones that are. Well, I, I think sixteen is kind of controversial right now in terms of how people view it, but you know, I consider sixteen good. So there you go. I'm, I'm gonna say that. Um, so I played really nothing but good Final Fantasies. You like the T-Rex? Hell yeah. Yeah, Curry, I will say, I will say, I, I don't... Look, I don't normally like... Well, okay, so I do share the game somewhat with, with friends, right? But... If you did want to play another Final Fantasy past 10, I'm just going to throw 14 out there. 14 is really good. All right. 14 is really solid. If you're okay with playing like an MMO, right? Really good. Great story. Very Final Fantasy-esque. Really, really good. I will show 14 all the time. I Give me the opportunity. I will talk about how good 14 is. Like every opportunity possible. You, Bryce. What's it to you, Bearer? Your friend asked me to get rid of the wolves. So I got rid of the wolves. What's well it, Clive? You'd have me believe a single bearer slew the entire pack. I did. And if you didn't, you wouldn't be on this side of the bridge. Bugger me, you're a tough one, aren't you? <laughs> oh, Frederick. You oily bastard. I never thought to pit beast against beast like that. You served us well, Bearer. Be sure to pass our thanks to your master. Man, being a bearer in this world is suffering, dude. Never get thanked yourself, but your master gets thanked. Uh, b -b 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 I started on 7, then 8, 9, tried out pre-7, but couldn't get into them, then finally 10. Yeah, fair. I could see some of the older Final Fantasies not really being everybody's cup of tea. I haven't really played them myself, but I do plan to relatively soon. So I kept seeing adverts for the mobile version and looked gash, so I never bothered. Um, oh, The mobile version is like very different, I think. I think the mobile, mobile version is something entirely different. Uh, um... But, like, 14 itself proper is really good. Really, really good. And, hey, like, it's free, so right? Like, the most of it is free at this point. You may as well at least give it a try. If you have the ability, right? Well, the subscription is free. I think you buy the game. Oh, no, do you need to buy the game? I don't think you need to buy the game anymore, do you? I think you can just, like... Do you? Oh, you might. I don't remember. I don't remember the whole deal. If I'm being honest with you, I don't remember the spiel. I know it's like free up to an expansion. It's going to be free up to like the second expansion soon, I believe. But I don't know if you need to buy the base game for that. I don't think you do, but I could be wrong. Don't quote me on that. Another World of Warcraft. I'm going to say this. I've played World of Warcraft. Final Fantasy XIV is uh, much better. Really good though, like they like they're, like for real though. It's so good, it's so good. And like considering all the shits f like free up to a point, you got so many hours, you got so many hours up to it. Play through up to level twenty. Um, what is the limit? What is what is the limit in fourteen? Like I like I think, you know what. Fuck it. I'm going to look it up. Hold on. Hold on. I'm going to look it up just really quick because I want to I want to get all my information correct. I want to get my facts straight. Right. Uh, yeah, so you can play up to level 60 in the free trial, which might be I don't it might go up when they have the new expansion. Well, not the new expansion, but when they have the, the next next expansion go free. Uh, then they might up it. I think they would probably. So here, so here, here's here's my shell. Oh, you got adverts. Oh man, I hate adverts on Twitch. Like, I'll, I'll give it a moment, and then I'll then I'll shill it out, right? Cause like for real. 
So, so good. So, so good. Okay. Back. All right, cool. So here, I'm going to say this, and then I'll actually, like, stop trying to show Final Fantasy XIV. Because I could, I could do it all day, like, legitimately. You can play for free up to level 60. You have access to so many hours worth of content. Like, that's, it's actually crazy. Because you got the entirety of the base game, the entirety of the first expansion, soon to be the entirety of the second expansion. And, like, and, and I, I'm pretty sure level 60 will go up to level 70 when that happens. Um, and then you can, I don't think it gates you off from any content either. I'm pretty sure you can just play everything. Like I like I think it gates you off from being able to use the market board, but I mean I think that's fair and you don't really need it anyway. Um Yeah, it's so good. Like legit, like like legit to anybody. Anybody that's watching this, like not even just Kari, seriously. Give 14 a shot. And if if you're like some people that I know where they're like, you know, don't really like playing MMOs. You can play it like uh you can play it like um you can you can technically play it single player if you want. Like I think they have it so you can use like NPCs. I don't know if you need to play the dungeon first, mind you. But like if you if you're scared of interacting with people, just play DPS and you'll do fine. Um But I'm pretty sure you can play through the dungeons with NPC companions. But hey, then maybe you'll get used to. Maybe you'll be wanting to play it with with people. I don't know, right? But like, it's so so good. Like, it's it's so so good. The story is so just mwah, like it's perfect. And then if you want to experience the other stuff later, you can just buy the expansions and stuff, right? You, like, and and get a sub. Like, it's perfectly easy. Uh, Curry says, "Is it fully controller supported?" Oh boy, let me let me tell you. I'm gonna read. I'm gonna read the rest of this though, and then I'll I'll tell you. Have the PC hooked up to the TV in the living room means basically no mouse and keyboard except for logging in and basic mouse uh, tasks. Can't play games properly there. So let me tell you. Yes, it's really good too. Like I don't personally use the controller for 14, but I have a friend that does. And I'm going to tell you, he actually swears by it. He says it's so comfy and so easy. He like he literally just plugs his controller in and plays the game when he wants to lay in bed. Like, because he, he mostly plays on most in keyboard, but when he just wants to, like, lay in his bed and play, he'll plug the controller in, he'll just lay back, and he'll play the game. And it, it it's really crazy. And then one of my other friends says the same thing. It's, like, such... And I, I couldn't... I personally couldn't imagine playing an MMO on, on a controller. But, like, they swear by it. And I trust them and believe them 100% uh, that it is very easy to do. And fun. And hey, if you give it a shot, you know, let me know. I'll, I'll, I'll even play with you, right? If you wanted, I don't, I don't mind showing new people the ropes. Look, the windmills. That must be Eastpool. Even if it means I got to make a new character, I don't really care. I'll do it. But it's a really good game. Super comfy, right? Yeah, let's see. Uh, we moved house. Used to be in a one-bedroom flat, and the front room is essentially storage desk for the GF to work from home. The PC was in the bedroom. Super comfy. That sounds really comfy. Um, for the sake of just, like, the convenience, I actually do have the, the PC, or my PC, at least in my bedroom right now. I Like, legitimately, if I wanted to go and, like, just sleep... All I have to do is go over there. You can't see it, but I do have a bed over yonder that way. Uh, it's really nice and really comfy as well. Like I don't, I don't usually play games from my bed though. I, I, I could. Honestly, if I did, I'd probably have uh, get a lot more games done. So I need to go that way, but I would rather go go down here on that way first, I guess. I remember coming here with Lord Murdoch when I was young. This area seemed a very different place back then. And then Megan, my girlfriend, who uh, lives with me now, um, she used to... 
keep her room like for her, mostly her bed. I think she said she had like a bed and a desk in her room. Uh, mostly because her parents and she lived with her parents and they were very against like keeping that stuff together um, in the same room. They're very against a lot of things though. Very like strict parents. Um, yeah, but when she moved in here, I was like, you know what? You want to just put your room like your, your computer in your room? And she's like, yeah, I don't know. I've never really had it before. It might be like kind of weird. And I was like, yeah, you know, just try it. Why not? If you want, we can move it into the living room later or something. And she's like, okay. And then she put it in her room. And now I think she really likes it. Because now she'll literally just like lay in bed and play games. When she when she needs to, right? Like when she's either just not feeling good to, for some reason or another. Or just like after a long day of like work. She'll go in her room, just lay on her bed and play games. And I'm like, hell yeah, it's real nice. Double kill. Hey, Rouge Rogue. Welcome back to the stream. How you doing today, my friendo? Over that lovely green field, do you get attacked by monsters? Do you not get attacked by monsters? Apparently not. Hold on, it's Pet Torgal. Good boy. Uh, let's see, let's see. Curry says, yeah, now we're in a proper house. We have a living room and the square room is where we originally set the PC. I've got the four monitors set up there. Nice. And the desk, but she's using that for her work from home place now. And the PC downstairs. Very nice. Sounds like you guys have a nice place, too. Yeah, Rujo, what have you been up to, friendo? Hopefully, thing, hopefully things have been going well for you. Oh, hello. Bit unexpected, but sure, let's go. Ah, oh, come on. There you go. Bring him in. Okay, I guess it follows them around a little bit. Uh, it's really hard to see what they're doing. The wyverns are pretty difficult. They're really fast and they attack a bunch. Um, yeah, I'll wait. I'll wait to use my super, super phoenix move. Okay, there we go. There we go. We're nailing it. Ah, oh, sick, sick, sick. Yeah, the, the wyverns are actually pretty difficult to like nail down properly when they're gonna attack. I mean, I'm managing, but I feel like I'm just barely managing. I got some good damage in. Oh, come on. Not doing bad, not doing bad. There you go. Finish him off, maybe. Okay, nope. No finishing. There we go. Whew. That hurt a lot. That hurt a lot, actually, but... Hmm, I don't have any potions. That's okay. I think we'll be going to another town soon, hopefully. Hopefully. Let me see here. Still small, but yeah, a couple extra rooms. I mean, hey, yeah, an upgrade is an upgrade, right? 
Haven't been too busy. Got some commissions to be working on, but Baldur's Gate. Ah, oh, dude, I saw a friend play Baldur's Gate like a couple days ago. It looked really good. It looked really, really good. I really want to play it. I want to play the other Baldur's Gate games first, though. But I, he made it look really good. Um, I just like, no, I just like, I like how it's basically just D and D, right? I guess that's kind of the point. Is it's basically just D and D as a video game. But like, I find that to be really fun. I like the idea. Oh, these are VVs. I just realized they're the black mage. Oh, that's cool. That's a good reference. That's a really good reference actually. Ah, oh, that's clever. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Seeing slasher, so many people playing that right now. Yeah, like it's taking the gaming world by storm. Uh, it's like Dragon Age, and those of us who are waiting on Dragon Age Dreadwolf, it's a good holdover. I've heard it's also a lot like um, Path of Exile, right? Which I believe is another another D and D based game. I think. It is D and D, yeah. Like it is D and D, right? Because like even have like the rolling system and everything, like. Because like I know it's based off of one of the D and D um, rule sets. I don't know which one. Or is it just based? Is is it is it like the part of the D and D world? Or is it just like uh, like a rule set thing? I don't remember. But the fact that it's like D&D is a video game is pretty cool. East pool. Seems like a pretty drab place. I'm not going to lie to you. Quiet. Isn't it? Yes. You. You're Clive Rossfield. How do you know me? It's me, Hannah. Rodney ah, wife. Lady Hannah. Oh, I knew it was you. You haven't changed at all. Says being taller. The Lord Marquis and Jill too. It's so good to see you both again. <gasps> it's good to see you too, Lady Hannah. <gasps> If you have time, you simply must come back to the house. I haven't much to offer, but what is mine is yours. We should be delighted. Yes, yeah, so even the noble people have kind of fallen a fair bit. Probably not taken over to the higher up spots in the new regime they've established. And you have been wandering the world ever since. I can well understand fleeing from those iron blood brutes. But oh, to take to the road at such a tender age. It uh, wasn't easy. We survived, and... And now we're back. It's wonderful to see you safe and well, Lady Hannah. And Clive, take your sip. Do you think you will stay here? In Eastpool. Rosaleth still enjoys the Mother Crystal's blessing, does it not? You could always move. This house holds a lot of memories for me. So long as I can live here in peace, here I shall stay. Understandable. Not that it matters. The capital is closed to civilians, by order of the Duchess. 
or should I say, Her Imperial Majesty. Annabella's marriage to the Emperor of Sambrec heralded a great many changes here. Yes, of course. Oh, forgive me. I, I didn't mean to. Oh. Please, there is nothing to forgive. Would my mother not make an exception for you and your husband? Surely she would not refuse the Lord Commander. Oh. You haven't heard then. Rodney Dead. passed away on the yeah. night of the fire. He never returned from Phoenix Gate. Yeah, I found out about that by reading the index stuff. Or you could just see it, to be fair, in the game, actually. Oh, no, I think you just see it in the game. I'm sorry. Clive. My poor child. You look pale. All this traveling must have taken its toll. I insist you rest. We can talk later. Hmm. Hmm. Are you sure you don't want to sleep inside? I can't. Not after what I did. Hmm. He's got that guilt. Lady Hannah said she would prepare a change of clothes for you in the morning. Ooh, we can get a new drip. She really has been very kind. New drip. New drip. Let's go. Thirteen years without the faintest glimmer of hope. It was only Joshua that kept me going. I swore that I would avenge his death. That I would kill his killer. That was the only thing that gave my life any meaning. If it was me who killed Joshua and Murdoch and all the others, then why the hell am I still breathing? I ask myself the same. <laughs> when I fought, hundreds died. There were so many bodies, so many lives cut short in their prime. That day in Dalmechia, I... I wanted to join them. I wanted it all to end. I couldn't bear it anymore. If living meant being that, better to be just another body. I'm sorry. Remember that night on the balcony when we looked up at the moon? I remember that. I remember, I remember that oddly I vividly. Said a prayer to Metia, and that prayer was answered. Ah, smooth. That was pretty cool. That was nice. Are oh, they gonna kiss? You came back to me. Oh, okay. Never mind. The heavens must have a plan for us. I feel like they're going to get together, but like... Oh, maybe they will. Oh, she's getting pretty close. Nope. Nope. Not yet. Not yet. Soon. Soon, but not yet. Some rest. Right. Good night, Clive. Sleep well. Oh, damn.
New drip. Oh. Perhaps now people will not flee at the sight of me. You look just like Elwyn did when he was your age. Trip. How did you come to have some of my father's old clothes? Look at that. That's not too bad at all. That's pretty when nice, actually. Came Archduke. Our families would often summer together. He and Rodney were like brothers. These clothes have been in a wardrobe for years, collecting cobwebs along with everything else. Well, I'm very grateful for them. And sorry for depriving you of your memories. Not at all. It's what your father would have wanted. He it's looks really well. good. I really like it. Thank you, Lady Hannah. Yes, thank you. You've been most kind. No, I should thank you. It may only have been for a short while. But seeing you again took me back to happier times. Fare you well, my lord and lady. That's very nice. Thank you, Lady Hannah. Oh, I got, I got new stuff in general. To the north. Hold on. It should take us all the way to Phoenix Gate. I guess it, oh, I guess he did give me a new sword. Hold on, what do you give me? Hold on, I want to see this. Not only did they give me new drip, they gave me new weapons, and they're much better. Ah, oh, the Metean stuff. Okay, well, tell me about these then. One of a set of seven swords said you have been forged in the flames of Mount Dristanus, Invictus. Has been passed down through generations to use by the Archduke's family and his closest shields. Archduke Elwyn presented Invictus to Rodney Murdoch on the day he was promoted to Lord Commander of the Ducal Army. Metia is sometimes called the Christo Christrel? As legend has it that the bright red star serves as the moon's attendant, carrying her gear and equipping her armor in times of battle. This belt was part of a set owned by Archduke Elwyn and kept in East Pool for when he and his family would summer there. It is a long-standing Rosarian tradition for the Archduke to bestow a gift to scions of the Ducal line upon their coming of age. These bracers died in the red of the star Metia, were what Elwyn's father chose for him, and formed part of a set of clothes kept in East Pool for when he and his family would summer there. Cool. All right, we're looking good. We're looking really good. All right. All right. So for now, uh, if I can get back to my tab, thank you very much, everybody, for watching. I hope you all enjoyed the stream today. But for now, I guess it is time we cue the outro. There will be some more Final Fantasy 16 tomorrow, of course. So keep an eye out for that. Uh, for now, though, yeah, here I go. I'll catch you guys later. It's been a fun one.